Hey guys, so over the break, I decided to check in and see if the third child was actually learning anything. And these five super easy dot sticker activities are great for practicing numbers, letters, even fine motor skills. Yeah! To get started, you'll of course need dot stickers. You can get these primary color ones pretty much anywhere, Target, Staples, but I really wanted the pretty color ones for you guys, so I got them online. And the first thing I did was take off that white border because these are already pretty easy to peel off, but that makes it just like super easy for little hands. So first up, we've got our dot matching activity. I just drew a bunch of symbols on the dot stickers and on a piece of paper that I wrapped around a box just to make it a little more three-dimensional and interesting. And then you can match the shape and decorate the box. Tess was so excited. Yeah! I was even more excited. Yeah! I really need to tone it down. What is that called? Triangle. You can also do this with numbers, letters, upper and lower cases. Do you get a lollipop when you come to mommy's office? Even I can't resist the big bowl of lollipops. Yeah. Speaking of sweets, next up, scoop and number cones. I made the order and then Tess had to fill in the scoops. Do you know what number that is? No. It's three. They want three scoops, so let's put three scoops in. This is awesome for number recognition. Do you know what number that is? Five. Can you fill the cone up with five scoops? And of course, counting. One, two, three, four, 26, 21. Especially random numbers in the 20s. <laughs> and trees. Good job! Third, we've got connect the sticker dots. Number one and number two. Can you draw a line that goes straight across and connects? This is great for fine motor skills. What comes after number two? Five. Oh, three. Three. Oh, <laughs> that's good. It's the journey, not the destination, right? We gotta work on this one. That looks great! <laughs> Good thing we had Ford waiting in the wings. Let's see what it turns into. You wanna turn it to a child? Maybe, go two to three. And now how about five back to one? <laughs> Do it, it's a star! <laughs> Number four, what's my name? I drew Tess in big bubble letters on the wall and then a bunch of T, E, and S's on the dot stickers and she had to match them up. <laughs> I was so proud that she got this right. Oh. You're so good, you're so good, you're so good. <laughs> Ford was a little less impressed. That is so easy. That is not easy for her. <laughs> Since we taped this, if you ask her how to spell her name, she'll say T-E-S, and she is this close to writing it. Yeah! <laughs> And then finally, you've got dot sticker art. I drew a design and then you fill in the color with the dot stickers and maybe an extra bit of black marker. Oh, I like that. <laughs> this is so pretty. So modern. There are some really amazing examples of this online and I love the ones where they use the dot sticker for like people or even monsters. All right guys, I think the dot stickers tired us out. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week. Bye.